today we will see how to get the selected value from a drop down so for this uh, let me go to my browser uh, we will use facebook.com and in this application if you click on this button you can see all the different values that are present in this drop down so we will fetch this value what is the selected item in this drop down so you can see this since this is selected select tag so you can say this is a drop down and in the drop down uh, you can see the selected for this may there is an another uh, additional thing which is selected equal to one but this selected equal to one is not present for all other options this is only present for uh, for for that uh, value which is selected in the drop down we will see how to get this video. okay let me move to my visual studio and uh, i will copy I'll create another method i'll say get drop down value get selected get selected and drop down from can you use that one help okay uh, likewise I will go to this website and paste it here and the locket will be different first I will click on that button first this button so if I will inspect this element yeah. this is the button and the first text is create new account okay let me construct the text path for it okay. This is the button I will use this I will first click on this button first okay await page dot click async okay here I will click on the button then I will select this drop down now okay if i come here this is a select tag and the area label is month okay i will use this attribute let me construct the x path for it equal to month it will select me this month drop down okay okay now what i'll do await let me store it in a variable and a different way we'll do it okay let me where month drop down equal to await page dot Why this is the mirror? This is not a sync method actually, so that's why it was thrown the error. Mm. Yeah. Now we will for the async method we have to use await, else there is no need to use the await. Okay. Uh, now we will use this drop down control okay Wait. dot there are different method actually to get a value 
let me first show you what are the different uh, methods available i will see in our text async i will store it in our first first value okay uh, i will use another method let's see if what are these methods are returning then i will see what is the actual method we will use for the drop down okay await month drop down dot inner text we used then inner html async this one also in a text async oh, I have used it ok input value async input value async ok let's see what are, what are these methods are returning actually ok I have put here my draw breakpoint. Let me start the debugging. Yeah. If you'll see, yeah, it has opened the pop up, then it will read this drop down value. What I am trying to get. Okay, let's see. I'll F10, F10 f10 okay in the first value you will see it is showing all the options text actually january february march april may to december okay so if i will i will come here okay this is the actual okay let me show you first it will be easy for you to get actually facebook create new account if i am inspect it you will see so these are the text value actually january february march to december so this method this method inner text async okay so this is returning all the text all the text that are present inside that particular drop down okay this is not returning the selected one okay let's now move to another method inner html async let's see what it is returning yeah if you will see here January option value one option value yeah if you'll see here it is also returning all the options tag this is not returning the text it is returning all the options that are present inside that select tag okay if you come here you can see this input html async method it's returning all the tags as actually from option to option whatever that are present inside the option tag it is returning all the options that are present inside the select drop down okay so this is not our expected result let move to input value async what it is returning yeah it is returning five okay so let me go to the browser and see what is the five actually yeah it is returning the actual what is the selected text okay the tag actually whatever the value it is returning okay 
but this is not written in the text it is written in as value equal to 5 okay so basically this method is returning value value tag value attribute okay but this, it is not returning the text actually okay so what i am expecting it should return me the text what is the selected text okay so there are different ways actually how i can get the text so if you will see if you will see actually first i can see like first i will get all the options okay i will store it in an array then whatever this value suppose this method returns 5 okay then i will iterate that loop that array and where there is 5 is present give me the text of that option okay so in that way we can do it and another way uh, there is an existing method which playwright exposes us we can use that method to get the value let's use that and maybe in future i will show you how to iterate first i will store it all the options tag in the array and then i will iterate when the value equal to 5 give me the text i will show you i will show you in, in future but today we will discuss the what is the method that will return us the text selected text in the drop down okay let me stop the breakpoint here I will comment here. Okay. So I will give you suppose value equal to habit my month drop down dot evaluate async. Evaluate on selector. There is a method. Yeah, there are two methods actually. Uh, evaluate async. We can use this method also. Let me use this one first. String. And I will use here. Okay, let me see what it takes. It takes an expression, okay. I will use E says that e dot options then e dot selected index dot text i will i will i, I will explain what it mean let me check whether it is written in the value or not okay uh, let us now get point here only. Let me start the debugging. Yeah. You see, it returns my value. Let me go to the here. The main value is selected in the drop down, so it is returning the select main value. Okay, so let me explain what I did actually. So evaluate async. I will explain more on this function. There are different functions on this evaluate uh, method. We will we will see in few uh, going forward. We will discuss it in more detail. But uh, this evaluate async basically this is a method which executes the JavaScript. Okay, if you have some js code you want to execute so you can um, paste the javascript here javascript command and you uh, execute this line so what it will do it will execute the uh, js command using evaluate async method okay so let me discuss what i did here so basically what e means okay i am telling to the playwright okay 
whatever my control is my locator is so this is my locator okay so e is nothing but is my locator from this locator like from this drop down okay i will go to the all the options okay and i will select that index okay so basically this is nothing but an array options all the options and i am using those index for which selected is present okay so suppose this index is 1 2 3 4 5 so what it will do e dot options in square bracket 5 dot text using the text uh, property i can i am reading the value okay so i will use the same thing but in different way let me show you where value 1 will go Wait. Uh, I will use the directly place that evaluate evaluate on selector okay and I am expecting to return me string and uh, it will take actually two arguments okay first one is the uh, locator this is my locator okay and the second one is my javascript okay so here if i'll see here so this e is nothing but this only this select tag okay and whatever i am doing here using the select index property so let me check whether it is working or not Let's start the debugging. So both the methods should return me may value. Yeah, may, may, yes. So yes. So this is the way how we can uh, get a selected value from the drop down. But uh, obviously we will in future we will more we'll have, uh, we will discuss more about all these methods. So, if you 